Hello, it's Maggie the Cheshire Crafter here. It's the it's St George's Day, 23rd of April, and my birthday this year fell on Easter Sunday, so it was a pretty miserable day spent on my own. So as a treat today, I've been with my carer to Haydock Park Racecourse to um, a craft fair. It was called the Bead Fair, but it was beads, lace and textiles. Uh, and it was for craft supplies rather than end products of crafters supplying their wares. When you can think outside the box and you look at the tools that uh, are used for one craft can sometimes cross over into another craft. I was particularly interested in textiles and I found some things that I didn't expect to find. So do you want to see what I did find and what I bought? I did spend some money. So um, one of the first things that we saw was a lady who was selling felt making animal kits, uh, which were really interesting. Uh, she was selling scraps of, of felt, but she was selling A4 pieces of felt. And that's what I bought. I, I selected um, five, first of all. They were £2 for a beautifully soft A4 size rolls of felt. And I've bought what I call heather colours. And they looked rather rose-like to me. So then I thought afterwards I need some leaves. So I added in some greens for some leaves. So that was £14 for those. They are beautifully soft. I forgot to ask her though about washing them, whether they would wash in a cool wash, 30 degrees, machine washable, I don't know. I have got her contact details though, so I might contact her and ask her about those. But I have got a patchwork project in mind for those. So uh, let me see what I can do with those. I won't be doing those um, straight away. And then I spotted a very large stand and they were selling kits by a company called Pinflare. Now, I've watched Create and Craft over the years, and I know Christine that comes on Create and Craft that represents Pinflare, and she talks about the art it's not decoupage, but it's applying fabric to cardboard and it's an, an ancient art form. And I, I, if you watch my videos, you know, one of my favourite glues is the pin flare book binding glue. Uh, but the men were there were telling me that they were selling that glue and I got three pots then. That will last me for ages for £12. I've not had to pay for... Um, person package to get that home and I can decant it now I did say you can get a skim on the top of this as it starts to dry out uh, they said if you cover that pot with plastic it'll stop it from drying out and then they told us about this and I didn't know that they did this if I hold it to you uh, you'll not be able to see it I might need to photograph it This is by Pinflare. It's called napkin glue. And as you know, I use napkins for decoupage and I've got some really beautiful designs of napkins. Uh, now, they said that in comparison to Mod Podge, this has less water in it. So it's not going to warp the paper or cardstock. And you can apply a layer over the top of your napkin and it will give you a high gloss finish. Now, normally I get a matte finish when I use my napkins, so that'll be interesting to try that one out. And I'll compare that with Modge Podge when I do it. Right, then they told me about this 
and I didn't know that Pinflare did this product. It's called Gloss It. Now there's been a product out on the market for years called Glossy Accents and I do have that Glossy Accents and they said this is similar to that. It dries translucent with a high gloss finish and this, but, but the difference with this is he said that you can use this on fabric. Now I've never tried Glossy Accents on fabric before so it'll be very interesting to find out how this works. Now if can you imagine if you were doing soft toys and you wanted a an eye for example and you wanted it to shine like a, a glossy eye or a button for example so i bought one of those that was about seven pound this because i bought two and split one with macara was about six pound each so they're new products for me to try interestingly enough uh the men that were running that stall told me that Pinflare had, had, as a company, had been bought out by uh, their com the company that they were representing today. And it's called, I've got to check the name, Zettel Silvar Designs. And it's linked to an actress that I've known for years called Julie Peasgood. She's a, a Liverpoolian. Well, I thought she was Liverpoolian. I saw her years ago in Brookside, um, blonde actress. I think she was Barry Grant's girlfriend in Brookside years ago when I watched it. Very well-known British actress, but actually he said what she does is she, she's part invested in this company and they do workshops on cruise ships. So he said, interesting fabric, because I've got more fabric down the end. Well, <clears throat> yes, I was. <laughs> so this is a stack of fabric that I bought from them. A lot now and I bought them on the basis that for half a meter if I bought three packs I would get them for ten pound for half a meter and that would be the equivalent of six pound sixty six for a meter when I talk about the fabrics the first two I'm going to show you are Rose and Hubble uh, let me show you those so two reds are Rose and Hubble and the Scandi design very sadly hasn't got a brand on it but it's like a it's like a strong calico fabric i'll take a photograph and interject it at this point here but they're lovely and i think they'll got they'll go nice with some deep maroon fabric that i've got to bring those out for patchwork for christmas This pink one is Rose and Hubble. The bright pink is Rose and Hubble. See the design on that? It's really pretty. And then this paler pink one is very reminiscent of a vintage Laura Ashley, to be honest. But it's by one of my favourite companies, Fabric Freedom from London. Uh, so I was delighted with that. And I've linked it up with uh, just a batik, a uh, leafy green, spring green batik. You'll recognise some of them and as you look at these you'll see that some of them are Christmas designs already. So if you've seen my uh, Christmas videos you'll see that I put up my own advent calendar. On, you see this door here where I'm hanging my washing ready for ironing at the minute, that's what that is. I hang my, uh, my own advent calendar and uh, this is a Macau design advent calendar. Like most of the panels, there are nine repeating designs on this and then six extra ones. So you've got 33 designs for half a metre of fabric in all of these designs. Just trying to show you, that gives you an overview of how, how it is. now. Nine of those would go beautifully, easily on a cushion, wouldn't it, at Christmas? Uh, 
This one is Macawa, and this is Christmas Toys. And you see, I particularly liked the Nutcracker on this one. Again, this has got, this has got, and this one's got the train set on it as well, which I thought was jolly. I don't know if you'd see that from there. But this has got gold spun throughout it. And quite Then one of my favourites, Fabric Freedom. These are roses ready for Christmas. Black and red, interspun with gold. Rich, gorgeous, beautiful designs, beautifully printed and well photographed and uh, so really well. I have to say that the quality of all these cottons is really good as well. Uh, then I've got some really jolly ones. <laughs> so they're Christmas ones. What about summer? This has been done by the company from New Zealand. This is Nutex. And I've had their fabrics before. And I never knew that Nutex was a um, New Zealand company. So there we are. I've got by the beach, beside the seaside. Really nice, sunny, vibrant. The colours are great. Look at these for fun. Look at these if you were doing a gift for a man. Well, I'm being a bit sexist there, but look. Look at the cars. Look at the designs on them. I've never seen that fabric before. Uh, again, this is done by Nutex. Well done. Uh, this one now is Fabric Freedom again. And this is bikes and cars uh, so this is transport but you've got look bikes motor racing cars sailing themes on there again oh there's motorboat as well again nine panels i have somebody in mind for that too uh, fabric freedom and it's all the signs of the zodiac but I just was drawn to the turquoise colours there. Can I get a complete Aries? Can you see that one? How lovely that is. So this And then last but not least, I found a company called the lapidary shop and he was selling tools for jewelry makers he was selling lots of crystals as well well that's really handy it's really handy i've never seen one of those before certainly not at that price it was two pounds so that came home with me and then i saw an instrument i've got no idea what it's called I've got no idea what you meant to do with it but it's it's <laughs> it's one of them and then i spotted the thing that i think is the best purchase of the day and i think this is the last thing i'm going to show you i was delighted when i saw it and then i was even more delighted when he showed me exactly what to do with it it looks like this. This is a magnet. Look, how strong is that magnet? And then he said, did you know it does this? And it's a telescopic magnet. Now, I'm sitting now by my sewing machine. Every time I drop a pin on the floor, I can now pick that up off the floor with ease. If I drop that thing on the floor, Let's pick that up off the floor with ease. I can't tell you how pleased I am with that. I think everybody with a disability should have one of these. And do you know how much it costs me? Can't get it back in now. Three pounds. Three pounds. Absolutely delighted by that. So I can honestly tell you, we've had a lovely day out. Really enjoyed myself. 
Um, I think that's about it. I'll put the details in below. Um, for now, this is Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter, saying happy Sunday. Come back and see me soon, won't you? Ta-da!